Hello there, I am Samuel One. One of the indicators of the end times is increase in knowledge. Daniel chapter 12 verse 4, the scripture says, But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. The Bible make it very clear that one of the signs, one of the evidences, one of the indicators, one of the things that will point to the time of the end is increase in knowledge. Let me quickly say here, as I've said in many broadcasts in the past, especially on Maranatha Radio International, the end time and the last days are not actually and exactly the same thing. They are interwoven, one lead to the other, one proceed, one precede the other, and one conclude the other. But they are still sixteen. Now I can say clearly that we are in the end times, but we are not yet in the last days. The last days are the tail ends of the end time. The end times are the beginning of the last days. The end time is a season. Is a period of time and how long it will be no one knows because it cannot be calculated by human calendar don't forget that our timing and calendar is based on lunar and is based on solar it's based on the Sun and the moon and the creator of the Sun and the moon cannot be gauged or, or controlled or timed by what he has made so timing about the things of God and events of the end time cannot be calculated with human understanding. That is why the scripture says a thousand years is like a day before the Lord and a day is like a thousand years. The scriptures made it very clear that no one can know the day and the hour. But it says we can have an idea of the season. Now which season are we? Surely and definitely we are in the season of the end times. The Bible says, but you Daniel shut up the words and seal the book. Until the time of the end, and many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. From the beginning of creation till 1900, man actually knows a lot. If a student of history, you will see what man was able to achieve and do in history from the beginning of creation till 1900. But from the year 1900, from the year 1900, Till around the year 1950, man knew twice what he has ever known. In fact, the knowledge of man doubled. The things that man was able to do within that space of 1900 to 1950 was two times what man was able to do before then. In the 60s was the beginning of the space age. And the 70s was the beginning of the computer age. And from 1990, my God, man entered into a season of unprecedented knowledge and scientific breakthroughs and experiences. Man entered into a knowledge never experienced by any human generation in the past. Now let me show you quickly the inventions that took place over the years from 1900 till date. And then I want to zero in on a particular issue that is ranging right now about the mobile wireless system that is the 5G issue. You need to get a clear understanding so that you will not be confused. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Knowledge not only in the things of the spirit, but knowledge in understanding what is happening to them. Now, between the year 1900 and 1909, we have inventions like safety razor, radio receiver, vacuum cleaner, air conditioner, polygraph, neon light, crayon, bottle making machine, the airplane, car wipers, dustile, funkstein, tractor, vacuum, doubt, conflicts, trios, synthetic plastic, color photography, the helicopter, synchro pass. Uh, synchro compass, pardon me, cellophane, the Ford car started, and things like that. And then between the year 1910 and 1919 was the time of motion picture invention, new lamp, automobile ignition system, life savers, modern gas mask, radio toner, stainless steel, radio circuit, toaster, shortwave radio, radio, and on and on. Between the year 1920 and 1929, we have inventions like bandage, first go bed, insulin, traffic signal, television, cloth watch, frozen food, loudspeaker, spider binding, notebook, rocket, bubble gum, car radio, and the like. 
between the year 1930 and 1939, that phase. Now you will discover that the years the invention were getting more serious. We have inventions like processing, food processor, analog computer, jet engine, electron microscope, Polaroid photography, zoom less radio telescope, FM radio, stereo recorder, tape recorder, nylon, radar, code re revolt, photocopier, and on and on. Between the year 1940 and 1949, we have color television, the jeep, aerosol spray can, we have the new truck reactor, the first electronic digital computer, synthetic rubber, LSQ, kidney dialysis, kidney dialysis machine, atomic bomb, microwave oven, oven, holograph, transistor, and on and on. Then between the year 1950 and 1959, we have inventions like the credit card, the super glue, power steering, videotape recorder, soft drink, hydrogen bomb, music, musical synthesizers, aeroplane black box. That is the one they use when an aeroplane has a crash to know what actually happened. Transistor radio, oral contraceptive pills, solar call, uh, tetracycline, optic fiber, the first computer hard disk, Fontran, that is a computer language for those of you that in IT, computer modem, laser, internal heart pacemaker, and on and on, and the microchip. The microchip was invented between the 1950s. And then in the 60s were the inventions like halogen lamp, beryllium, audio cassette, computer video games, silicon breast implant, video disc, acrylic paint, soft contact lens, electronic fuel injector for cars, hand edge calculator, computer mouse, artificial heart, the ATM barcode scanner. And then in the 70s were the invention of floppy disk printer, food processor, LSD, video cassette, microprocessor, word processor, disposable lighter, laser printer, Walkman, magnetic resonance imaging, and the beginning of the cell phones. And then the 80s, from 80 to 89, we have inventions like hepatitis B vaccine, and for those of you that are IT professionals, MS-DOS, IBM PC scanning, Tunneling microscope, human growth hormone genetically engineered for the first time, it was in the 80s. Microsoft Windows, synthetic skin, Fuji disposable camera, digital te cellular telephone, the RV486, abortion, abortion pills, Doppler radar, Prozac, and then we have the high definition televisions. And then between the year 1990 and 1999, that was the beginning of the WWW, the World Wide Web. Digital hamstring machines, smart pills, Pentium processor, HIV Proteus in Vitor, Java DVT, that is the, the digital video disc, web TV, and so many things like that. Then between the year 2000 and 2009 was the time of the transformer fluid, a blocker, artificial heart, artificial kidney, fuel cell bike, self-cleaning window, iPod, the braille for the blind in terms of computerized, phone Bluetooth, bad control bills, phobia camera chip, solar tower, virtual keyboard, so Toyota hybrid car, advanced robots, Adidas produced the first thinking shoe, we have YouTube, we have camera phone, we have USB flash, we have Facebook, we have retina implant for the blind and on. It was all in the year 2000-2010, the 10 year window. And then from the year 2010 till now, it's unbelievable. The scripture says that knowledge shall increase. And then we have inventions like Google Assistant, scripts, SpaceX, reusable rocket, we have the Veno money sending app, which is the basis for ability to send money all over the world today. We have the iPad, we have self-driving car, consumer led light. We have the abstract uh, power train, electric car, new nurture, incubator, lab grown lungs, <laughs> blue box, wireless almost everything, robotic everything, electric eye for the blind, space telescope, Strandling flying balls, Google television, glasses, 3D, 4D, jetpack for self light, body wear scanner, synthetic cells, and virtual therapies. All of these things were inventions of the last 10 years. Now, listen one of the most 
important inventions of this decade is the mobile wireless standard that kept increasing. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the increase of the standard of the mobile wireless from, from 0G to 1G to 2G to 3G to 4G and now to 5G. I've, I've had a lot of controversies on this issue and I felt very strong I need to make a lot of people to be very clear about this issue. So let me tell you about the advancement about the advancement in the mobile wireless standard from 0G even up to 5G. Let me quickly define this. The mobile wireless standard is, uh, is simply the language of uh, the, the system that have to do with mobile wireless. Um, it means the transmission over the air of, uh, from a base station to a laptop or a cell phone or a tablet. That's the mobile wireless. And the standard has been increasing. It, it involves the data, it involves SMS, and it involves cell. Let me give you an idea of what has happened over the years from 0G to 1G to 2G to 3G to 4G to 5G and the future.